What's up, pipe drivers? Did you know that two thirds of all sales reps activities are not even selling? Look, if you use PipeDrive, you're already ahead of the game. If you use PipeDrive's workflow automations, phenomenal. But there's still a lot of manual things that we have to do day to day. Think about researching prospects, logging information into the CRM, doing admin work, suboptimal. In this video, you will learn about the most popular proactive workflow automations to reclaim your focus and become more productive. Now, what does proactive actually mean? Well, with a single shortcut, you can create a new contact in PipeDrive with all of the information from a LinkedIn page. Again, one click, boom, that contact is already in PipeDrive. You can create notes on the fly associated with a deal, with a contact, with a company, and you can associate external emails with a specific deal. The options are many. Instead of talking about it, let's just take a look. All right, so the tool is called Bardeen and we are in Google Chrome store. Once you download it, you can initiate it just by clicking here or with a shortcut, option B. First, let's go to a LinkedIn profile page of Ragnar, the co-founder of PyDrive, and let's try to add him as a contact to PyDrive. I'm going to click on option B and let's copy LinkedIn data to PyDrive contacts. I'm going to click it. And boom, there we have the contact. Let's click on view. And here we have Ragnar's page. We can click on expand to see the node that is associated with his page. So our scraper collected all of this information, including the URL that you can open. You can do exactly the same thing with a company page. So we just need to use a different playbook. Another very common problem is associating an individual email with a deal. Now think about the times when you were talking with a partner, a vendor, or employees via email, and you can be discussing 10, 15, 20 different deals, but you cannot add an individual person to a deal because that will pull all different conversations that are not related to that deal. So what we can do is we can add an email that we have right in front of us in Gmail to PipeDrive. Let's click on option B. And let's copy this email to a pipe drive deal. I'm going to click on the tile and I'm going to associate it with say Microsoft. Microsoft deal. Let's run this. And let's view the organization. And there we have it. Discussion about Microsoft, which was the subject line of the email and we have the email body. Now let's talk about ideas and adding notes. So say you're browsing through the internet, say on this page, and you find something really cool. So in order for you to add an important piece of information uh, to a deal, you need to actually open a new tab, look for a deal, and it's just suboptimal and you're probably not going to do it. So that idea is going to disappear. Instead, what we can do is we can click on option B and we can create a note. So here we have create a note associated with a pipe drive person. Let's do that. Let's figure out the content of the note. Some really cool idea. And then let's associate it with, say, Bill Gates once again. Let's hit run. And there we have it. This note was added to the person. We can do a similar thing, but select external text on the page like this and run the playbook that will create a note with selected text and associate it with a person. So let's associate it with Ragnar. Click on run this. And this text was added. Another very common manual thing that we do day to day is just finding contacts on PyDrive and opening links. So say you have a call with somebody and you want to get refreshed on the deal, on the person. Let's click on option B and let's just get PyDrive contacts from an event. That's the event, let's run the playbook. And here is the person. I can click on view person to pull up their account. Very easy. Now let's say I want to look somebody up on social media. Well, we have a playbook for this too. Let's click on option B and click on this playbook. Get social profiles of a person. Let's look up Bill Gates. Here we have the contact. Let's run this playbook. And here we have the information. So we have Bill Gates' LinkedIn profile and we have Microsoft's LinkedIn profile. So I'm going to click on the first one. 
and there we have him. Now here comes my absolute favorite automation. That is sending screenshots of your Pipedrive dashboard in Slack. So here is how to set this up. Let's go to our insights and find which dashboard we want to send. I can copy this URL and we're going to get a screenshot of this page as a PDF every morning in Slack. Let's click option B and find the playbook. The playbook is called send PDF of a web page to Slack. Now let's paste the link over here and let's configure where we want the PDF to be sent. In my case, I just want to do a demo. Let me send it to myself. I'm going to run the playbook and it's going to open the page in the background. We do not actually need to be on this page and it's going to send it to Slack. And there we have it. So we can download it from here or we can open it in Slack. And here is our PDF. Now, here's the coolest thing. We can make this playbook run automatically every morning. So I'm going to click on option B and say, when time has passed, say one day, then, and let's run this playbook. PDF of a web page, paste the link to recipients or not. And let's run this. So the playbook will show up here in your automations tab. And that's the coolest thing. You wake up in the morning and you have your metrics already there. So it's very easy to build habits and to make sure that you are on track. So now let's imagine all of the times when we need to use the CRM data externally. So for example, you might want to do a marketing campaign to the contacts in Pipedrive, or you want to report on the deals you closed. And here's what you can do. You can open Bardeen from anywhere on your computer. It's called the global shortcut. And from here, I'd like to create a new Google Sheet with deals. Let's create a new sheet. Let's call it demo and run the playbook. So it's going to be a new sheet created with all of the deals. I'll be able to download it by clicking the download button or I can view the sheet. And just like that, here are all the deals that I have in Pipedrive. Now that I showed you all of the most popular Pipedrive playbooks, what if you have a unique workflow that you want to automate? This is where you can create your custom playbook. So let's imagine you are a realtor and you want to create a new deal for a property on Zillow. So we open a Zillow page, you like it, you create a deal out of it. So we're going to go to Zillow and let's find the property that we're interested in. This one looks pretty cool. So let's click on the option B. And what I want to do is I want to extract certain fields from this page. So I can create a new scraper model. Let's pick the individual scraper and let's select the fields we're interested in. So let's get the price. Let's get the location. Actually, I want to call it based on location. We're going to name our deal and you can get some other data such as how many bedrooms and bathrooms it has. Let's do bedrooms, bathrooms, BA. Okay, so here is our scraper model. We're going to extract these four fields. The preview table is right there and it's going to be called Zillow Pipe Drive. Let's grab the scraper model and now Let's write another command. So let's get data using the scraper model. Let's run this. So it's going to extract information from whichever page that is currently open using the scraper model that we have. So here's a little table. And now let's create a pipe drive deal with the title. And I want to grab the name of the location as the title. Let's type location and click run this. So here we have a new deal with the name 151LS. Right now, I can add a note to that deal. So we can turn that table that we extracted right here into a string of text. Let's create a string from a table, use the table, click on run this. So here we have the data in this format because we cannot add tables, but we can add text Let's add this information to the pipe drive deal we've just created. 
create note, note with content. Let's use the content and associate it with the deal, the deal we've just created, and let's run this. And now there is a note associated with the deal. That's the playbook. So we're going to click on save and call it Zillow to PyDrive deal. So here we've created a scraper model. We got the data as a table. We create the new deal in PyDrive with the name of the location. And then we added a note using the information that was scraped. Let's click on save this playbook and it will show up here in the playbooks tab. Now we want to go and check if we like the playbook. So let's open another location that we like. This place looks pretty cool. I'm going to open Bardeen once again. Option B, Zillow pipe drive deal. It's going to extract the information in just one click. And we can just keep browsing. We can go to another location that we're interested in. But in my case, I want to view the deal and see what happened. So first of all, here's the name of the place or the location. And here's the note with the information. Pretty cool. And this is pretty much it. We're just taking a look at the most popular PyDrive workflow automations, and we've even created our custom playbook. There is a lot of time waiting to be saved on the other side. So go to the link in the description below, check out the playbooks, try some of them out, and leave a comment below. We'll see you there. Same song.